All right, girls, bring it in. Coach, my dad is here, and he's giving me and Jill a ride home. Can we go? Just a minute, Lisa. There's something of grave importance that I must address. You're DVRing Glee, right, Lisa? No, there wasn't any room left after my dad recorded all those episodes of Ancient Aliens. But it starts in five minutes! Maybe this will be quick. <sighs> Gather round, team. Down on one knee. Scientists believe that certain animals possess a sixth sense. One that warns them when calamity is nigh. Well, guess what, kids? So do I. We know, Coach. Because last night I had a dream. Nay, a vision. And when I awoke, I awoke a changed, fearful man. I was completely naked in the desert. The very desert Jesus exiled himself to in the good book of our Lord. The sky was soft purple, like a dying rose. On the horizon where darkness gathered, I saw something. It looked like a stampede. The dust it kicked up was magnificent. I stood in terror, for there was nowhere to run. I squinted to see what it was, and I couldn't until just before it overcame me. What was it, Coach? Shh, don't encourage him! It was... Zelda Trevstein. Pitcher. For the Harry's Hardware Braves. <gasps> Seriously, girls, look at these arms. Goosebumps. Zelda Trevstein? I know her. Yeah, she was in my math class. She already smells like a woman. I heard she got her period in the second grade. What? Settle down, girls. We all know the legend. We all know her swing that would make John Henry lay down his hammer. We know her strength that would make Hercules himself into an impotent, incontinent dotard. We know her pitch. A whirling dervish, quick as the lightning that raped her mother on the day she was conceived. Lightning? But wasn't that her dad at the ice cream fundraiser? So he says, Lisa. So he says. As you know, tomorrow we'll be going head-to-head -head with the Braves. The winningest team sixth grade intramural softball has ever seen. Okay, coach, we got it. We'll be extra good tomorrow. See you at the game. Come on, Lisa. Sit down, girls. I know you feel like running. Trust me. When I awoke last night in a cold sweat, nose bleeding, covered in piss, I wanted to get into my Chevy and make off for a different town. A town that's never heard of Zelda Trevstein. But guess what? What? They all have. Every coach in this goddamn country knows of her. And she would find us, my children. She would find us and make each of us atone for our trespass. She's just a girl, coach. Just a girl. Ha! She is an ancient primordial man with a heart full of blackness. She is Genghis Khan reborn. She may look like just a girl, but make no mistake, she is a titan. So here we stand, warned by the gods on the eve of our destruction. I just want you to know that. Coach? Yes, Lisa. Can we... Still go out to Pizza Hut after the game? Of course. Whatever scraps of you I could steal away from her, that is. My word is my bond, girls. You know that. No, Coach, can we go? Lisa's dad is waiting. Of course. Just one more thing. Ugh. Pray tonight. Pray to whatever God will listen. Jesus, Buddha, that blue chick with all the arms. And pray not for a win. For all the gods combined aren't that powerful. Pray for mercy. Pray that Zelda Trevstein takes pity on your soul. Go now to your families. Tell them you love them. Break. Finally, let's go, Lisa. Those poor girls are pawns the game that they could. Oh shit! Ao five. I'm missing Glee.